guess who's back? Back again. Two trailer park girls go around the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Chick chick wa! Chick 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 wa! This is so humiliating! I'm back because I love those colors so much that I want to do a cut crease and I'm gonna leave everything else on my face the same, same lipstick. Uh, I even left the lower lash line the same and I did a really crappy job. I had to rip my lashes off. Oh God, I hate putting them back on. So now I got to re-prime the eyeballs and I'm using that little Sigma E58. I felt like that did a better job of like really getting good coverage. But like I said, you have to work kind of fast because this does dry down fast. And also, since I've done a look with this now, I can tell you with certainty that I am in love with this eyeshadow primer. This will probably be all that I use. So anytime from henceforth, if I mention an eyeshadow primer or a base, it will be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I didn't do such a great job of getting all of the liner and the lash glue off of here, but you guys will just have to overlook that because I'm just going to throw liner and lash glue right back over it. So she's taking the lazy way out today, guys. So I'm going to throw some shadow shields back on and yes, I'm using the same ones I used earlier because we are cost sheances around here. So it's like conscientious but cost chances, blah, blah, whatever you want to say. Oh, yes. So I'm basically going to be doing the same thing, only this is going to be the cut crease version. Exciting, I know. So I'm just going to, you know, create my transition out of this blue. I'm packing it on, but I'm not like overly packing it, like with tons of product just yet. I just want to kind of get a little bit on there and blend it just a little bit because you know we want to make sure that it's not like patchy or anything but it did blend out really nice earlier so I'm not worried. I am using the Morphe M456 brush to lay this down. I'm actually, before I go up any higher with this, I'm going to go in with headliner, which is the white, and I'm going to go ahead and set this up here, but also, you know, highlight my brow bone with it. And then it will also be easier for us to blend the blue into it. Okay, so I'm going to take a Morphe M506 brush, and I'm just going to start using that to blend. So soft circular motions, and since we're only blending this one color and it's blue, we're just gonna take our time, go slow, do really small circular motions. Like, you know, I'm not going up too high with it just yet. I kinda just wanna see where I'm going with it for now. And on camera too, like in person, this looks wonderful but I have to go up a little bit higher right here where my eyes are hooded and like I have like this part right here is kind of like raised a little bit more and like on camera it always looks like this is like lower because it's like kind of under the shadow of that a little bit so I'm just gonna raise this up a little bit so that it'll look better on camera. And so just like with the first look, I'm just going back and forth and blending until it's like meets my requirements, which are pretty high standards. Okay, so I'm going to put this primer to the test. I'm going to cut my crease with it, but I think that today I want to go with my squiggly cut crease. So that's what I'm going to do.
Okay, so the crease is cut. Um, I did not line them up exactly, so this does not match this as much, but I will take most of my pictures from this side anyways because this is my good one and nobody will be able to tell. So I'm going to go back into that yellow shade and I'm picking it up on an on this brush from Alamar Cosmetics that I got in a boxy charm, but I don't know the name of it. But I felt like it might fit perfectly in these little, like, squigglies. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try it. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in the shade Glam Rock, and I'm just gonna outline the squiggly with that. And then I'm gonna go over top of it just a little bit with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in Midnight Cowboy just because I feel like this one for some reason shows up better on camera. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off. I don't know I feel like I need to do something more with it. I mean like with the look. Of course I do I always feel like that. So I'm going to take this Fenty liner in the shade Techno Beat and I'm just going to line my top lash line. Yes, I think that's what I needed. I really love that. It's so pretty. Okay, so gotta put on lashes again as always just so you guys know I always use the same lashes 99% of the time and these are Lily Lashes Miami okay so I'm gonna wipe off my lower lash line from earlier because I had black on it and I'm gonna replace it with a hot pink and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'll wipe this lipstick off. I thought I would keep the lips the same, but since I went uh, not exactly in the direction I planned on going with this look, I'm gonna want something a little more colorful. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip gloss ever. You guys already know, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills gloss in the shade Grape Jelly. And then I'm just going to touch up my highlight, which is the same thing I used earlier, which is just that ABH pigment in the shade Icy. I'm actually going to pack a little bit of that back into the inner corner. And there we have it again, our second look with this palette. I just couldn't help myself. I loved this co these colors. You guys are going to see a lot more looks with the palette, but with different colors. But I was in love with the cobalt blue and this yellow. So I wanted to do two looks today. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just, the palette inspires me so much and I've been waiting so long to get it. And so I hope you guys like this both of these and I will see you in my next one.